Montano, Graciano, and Iago enter. What's the matter? What's going on here, General? Oh, are you here, Iago? You've done a good job that other men can attribute their murders to you. What's the matter? Tell this villain he's wrong. If you're man enough, he says you told him his wife cheated on him. I know you didn't. You're not that much of a villain. Speak, because I'm too emotional to say any more. I told him what I thought. I didn't tell him anything that didn't make sense or ring true to him. But did you tell him she cheated on him? I did. Then you told a lie, a sick, wicked lie. I swear on my soul it was a lie. You said she slept with Cassio. Did you say Cassio? Yes, with Cassio. Now be quiet. I will not be quiet. I have to speak. My mistress here lies murdered in her bed. Oh, no, heaven forbid. And your lies caused this murder. Don't stand there gaping, everyone. It's true. It may be true, but it's unbelievable. Oh, what a horrible deed. Evil, evil, evil. I can smell it. I suspected it earlier. I'll kill myself out of grief. Oh, evil, evil. Are you crazy? I'm ordering you. Go home. Good gentleman, give me permission to speak. I know I ought to obey my husband, but not now. Maybe I'll never go home again, Iago. Oh, oh, yeah, go ahead and moan because you killed the sweetest, most innocent woman who ever lived. She was filthy. I barely knew you. Uncle Graciano, here's your niece lying here dead. I killed her with these hands. Oh, I know this looks horrible. Poor Desdemona. I'm glad your father isn't alive to see this. Your marriage made him die of grief before his time. If he was alive now, this sight would hurt him terribly. It would make him curse the heavens and be damned to hell. It's sad, but Iago knows she had sex with Cassio a thousand times. Cassio confessed it, and she pledged her love to him by giving him the handkerchief I'd given her. I saw it in his hand. It was an old memento that my father gave to my mother. Oh, God, dear God in heaven. Shut up. Damn it, shut your mouth. No, the truth will come out. Me? Shut my mouth? Let heaven and men and devils tell me to shut up. I'll say what I have to say. If you're smart, you'll go home. Iago draws his sword. I won't. Shame on you, drawing your sword on a woman? Oh, you stupid moor. I found that handkerchief by accident, and I gave it to my husband. He'd beg me to steal it many times. You evil whore. You think she gave it to Cassio? No, I found it, and I gave it to my husband. You piece of filth, you're lying. I swear I'm not lying. Oh, you murderous fool. How did you ever get such a good wife? Won't heaven strike this Iago dead, you absolute villain? Othello runs at Iago. Iago stabs Amelia. The woman's falling down. He's killed his wife. Yes, yes, lay me next to my mistress. Iago exits, so he runs away. He's gone, and his wife's dead. He's a wicked, horrible criminal. Take the Moor's sword and guard the door from the outside. Kill him rather than let him leave this room. I'm going after Iago. He's a horrid criminal. Montano and Graciano exit. I'm not that strong. If a puny nobody can grab my sword, but why should my reputation for honor last longer than my honor did? Let it all go. What did your song mean, lady? Can you hear me? I'll die like a swan. They sing when they die. Willow, willow, willow. Moore, she never cheated on you. She loved you, you cruel man. I swear on my soul, I'm telling the truth. And as I say this, I die. Amelia dies. I've got another weapon in the room. It's a Spanish sword, hardened in ice cold water and razor sharp. Here it is, uncle. I'm coming out. Well, if you try that, you'll pay for it. You've got no weapon, so you'll have to suffer. Look in on me and talk with me, or I'll attack even without a weapon. Graciano enters. What's the matter? Look, 
I have a weapon and the best sword a soldier could have. I fought my way through obstacles 20 times more terrifying than you with this weapon. But who can control his fate? I'm not like that now. Don't be afraid, even though you see me with a weapon. This is the end of my journey, the end of my life. Are you backing away in fear? There's no reason to be afraid. You could tap me with a feather and I'd back away. Where would Othello go? Oh, look at you, such cruel luck. You're as pale as your nightgown. When we meet on Judgment Day, that look of yours will send me from heaven to hell, where devils will grab me. You're cold, cold, and you were never hot with lust. Oh, you damn villain, whip me, you devil, so I don't have to look at this heavenly sight. Blowing me with hot winds, roast me in lava, drown me in liquid fire. Oh, Desdemona, dead Desdemona, oh. Lodovico and Montano enter, followed by Cassio on a stretcher, and officers with Iago, prisoner. Where is that poor rash man? You mean the man who used to be Othello? Here I am. Where is that snake? Bring the villain forward. Iago is brought forward. I'm looking to see if you have cloven hooves like the devil, but that's just a fairy tale. If you are a devil, I won't be able to kill you. Othello stabs Iago. Take his sword away from him. They take Othello's sword away. I'm bleeding, but you didn't kill me. I'm not sorry either. I want you to live, since to me death is happiness. Oh, Othello, you were once so good. Then you were tricked by this villain. What can I say to you? Say anything. Call me an honorable murderer if you like. I did nothing out of hate, only out of honor. This poor guy's partly confessed his plan. Did you plan Cassio's death with him? Yes. Dear General, I never gave you reason to hate me. I believe you, but I ask you to forgive me. Will you please make this half-devil say why he tricked me and damned my soul? Don't ask me anything. You know what you know. From this moment on, I'll never say another word. What? Not even to pray? Torture will make you talk. Well, do your best. Sir, you'll understand everything that has happened. I don't think you know now. Here's a letter we found in Rodrigo's pocket. And here's another. This one talks about how Rodrigo should kill Cassio. Oh, you villain, ungodly and monstrous. Here's another letter from his pocket, addressed to Iago and full of complaints. We think he was going to send it to, to Iago, but then Iago stepped in and answered his complaints by killing him. Oh, you wicked scoundrel. Cassio, how did you get my wife's handkerchief? I found it in my room, and Iago just confessed that he put it there for his own purposes. Oh, what a fool I am. Also in his letters to Iago, Rodrigo criticizes Iago for telling him to get me angry while I was on guard duty and to get me demoted. And just now he admitted it. Even though he'd seemed to be dead for a long while, Iago tricked him. Iago urged him to do it. You'll have to leave this room and come with us. You're stripped of your power and your command and Cassio will govern Cyprus. As for this slave, Iago, if we can think of any torture that will hurt him a lot but keep him alive for a long time, he'll have it. You'll remain a prisoner until we bring your crimes to the Venetian government. Take him away. Wait a word or two before you go. I've given the state of Venice a bit of help in the past, and they know it, but enough about that. When you record these sad events in your letters, please describe me exactly as I am. Don't tone things down or exaggerate them out of hostility. If you're being fair, you'll have to describe me as someone who loved too much, but who wasn't wise about it. I was not easily made jealous, but once I was tricked and manipulated, I worked myself into a frenzy. Describe me as a fool who threw away a precious pearl with his own hands, like a silly Indian who didn't know what it was worth, as someone who was not emotional, but who then cried a lot. Write all this. 
write it all down, and then say also that in Aleppo I once saw a Turk beating a Venetian, so I grabbed the Turk by the throat and I hit him like this. Othello stabs himself. Oh, what a bloody end to all this. Everything we've heard is bad. I kissed you before I killed you. Now killing myself, I'm dying while I kiss you again. Othello kisses Desdemona and dies. I was afraid this would happen because he was a noble, brave man, but I didn't think he had a weapon. You bloodthirsty dog, you're crueler than sadness or hunger, crueler than the sea. Look at these dead people on this bed. You did all this. He makes me sick. Take him away, Graciano. Take care of the house and take the Moor's property. You've inherited everything. Governor, I leave it in your hands to punish this evil villain. Just decide the time, the place, and the means of torture, and then carry it out. I have to go back to Venice and tell them about these sad events. They all exit. The end.